Global warming has taken its toll on climate. This is because there is larger and larger population across the planet, with limited amount of resources. In addition to economic pollution, carbon dioxide emissions and a large number of trees are cut down, resulting in no trees that can help absorb carbon dioxide and produce oxygen. This carbon dioxide and greenhouse gases have broken the Earth's ozone layer. And make global warming more serious. Typhoons are the main source of rainfall in Taiwan, but typhoons with heavy rainfall are likely to cause landslides in Taiwan, causing loss of life and property. Not only the heavy rainfall, but also the roots of disease trees are the factors, which is related to the occurrence of landslides. In addition to being unable to grasp the soil, the disease roots are also prone to spread infection, causing expanded infected veins. In the smart house we designed, we use AI image recognizing device to detect disease trees early, and contact relief agency to deal with them, effectively preventing disease trees. From contaminating healthy ones and protecting soil as heavy rain comes. In this way, we can save animals and people, and greatly reduce economic loss. To deal with the occurrence of landslides, smart houses use many sensors. Like soil moisture sensor, pressure sensor, and earthquake sensor. When the humidity sensor detects the soil humidity exceeding the safe level, it will send a text to warn the resident in the low-lying areas to evacuate in advance and avoid danger. Earthquake sensors, on the other hand, Will not find the rescue departments of the government when big earthquakes are detected. The pressure sensor will trigger the interception net when it detects the falling of soil and rock, and buy time for people to escape. In addition to the function of preventing and reporting disasters. The smart safe house also functions as being environmentally friendly and energy saving. Smart safe houses can keep normal room temperature. We combine the characteristics of water cooling technology and groundwater constant temperature of 26 degrees to make it circulate in the main structure of the building to keep an appointed temperature. The second is to use the ventilation system with heat collecting device. The heat and cold energy discharged into the air by the building are retained and transferred to the house to keep warm in winter and cool in summer. In this way, people do not have to consume electricity. This building combines the three major functions of 5G: wide broadband, small thin connection, and ultra low latency. With a large number of sensors to monitor indoor temperature, security monitoring, building status, and damage rates at all times, greatly reducing the risk of accidents. We combine the above features to construct a smart safe house. The advantage of this smart house is that compared with ordinary air conditioners. The ventilation system with heat collecting device and water cooling technology we have produced are equipped with lower power consumptions and less pollution. The total budget for each household to have this smart house is NT eighty thousand dollars, a forty thousand dollars for the fresh air system. Thirty thousand dollars for the water cooling technology, and ten thousand dollars for the solar panel, and related sensors, soil moisture sensor, pressure sensor, and earthquake sensor to devise an interception network, AI image recognition 
with which we hope to cooperate with the government, funded by the government, and the every household is responsible for its operation and maintenance.